Oh, hey there, you bearded bastards, and welcome back to Splatterface. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, just got some minor-ish fires to put out behind the scenes, but it's nothing to worry about. I hope. Anywho, uh, right. Uh, where were we? Uh, ah, yes. Looking down in the pit, we can see our first fighter today. Looking fairly impatient, too. Very sorry, Toral Nil the Dwarf. And across from her, with eyes firmly fixed on the prize, it's the armadillo woman, Karaka. Now, Toral Nil has been anxiously waiting for her turn here in Splatterface, and who could blame her? We dwarves of the Screaming Peaks are known for our impatience, after all, but there's a bit more to it than that, isn't there? Some of you may remember her father, the Greybeard, Kashnil, who fell in the first bout of the first round of our very first Splatterface tournament last year. We don't want to go rubbing it in, of course, but... Failing like that undoubtedly cast a deep cloud of shame over his entire clan. A bottomless, dark humiliation from which there can only be one remedy. A remedy administered by Toril Nil's hand at this place at this time. Oof, I would not want that much pressure on my shoulders, that's for sure. <laughs> Oops, may have struck a nerve with that one out there. <laughs> Good, use that fire, Toril Nil. Use it to smash through the iron wall ahead of you and break through to today's opponent, Karaka. This feisty armadillo woman has rolled in from across the eastern wastes and stands here today as a representative of her dying realm. Actually, you know what? You may have seen her uh, between bouts. She's been very busy at a small trinket stand set up outside the arena where she's been peddling wares from her homeland. Rare and unique treasures not found here in the peaks or anywhere. Not that I've seen for that matter. Yes, very interesting things, that's for sure. Maybe when this tournament's over, I'll have to go checking that place out myself, eh? If you win today, that is. Yes, Karaka, you're going to have to make it through today's round because, well, if you fall, it may well be that your home falls with you. Yes, sir, there is a lot on the line for both of you, isn't there? The pressure is up, the forge is ignited. And so what do you say? I think it's time to smith up an artifact of about. Fighters, prepare yourselves and let the sixth bout of Splatterface commence. The gladiators charge and the dance begins. Starting off with a nimble back and forth here, evenly trading blows, both combatants are playing a skilled game. An amazing display. Neither combatant is giving an inch people of Splatterface, we have not yet seen such an even match. Oh, look at that, just stunning. Look at these two go. They'll be tiring soon, and then it's only a matter of time before someone slips up. By the gods, enjoy this display while you can. Oh, oh, there we go. Karaka dives in and swipes away one of Toranil's feet. The dwarf falls, and blood immediately covers the... Oh, Karaka's blade slips between the dwarf's ribs, and... Oh, that's a damning hit right there. <laughs> While she's down there, Toril Nil scores a good hit on the armadillo's foot, and Karaka returns the favor. Toril Nil's other foot goes sailing off in an arc. The dwarf is losing a lot of blood now. She had better work quick. Now, this is an odd sight right here. Toril Nil is still doing her best, though her blood is draining out in torrents. A hit to Karaka's shell. Be careful, armadillo. Both combatants are crawling about now, covered in blood. Weapons continue to clatter back and forth, Oh, a hit to the neck and another to the head. A damaging strike that knocks the armadillo senseless. Her shield and sword fall to the ground. Toral Nil is taking serious advantage now, letting loose a series of strikes. Karaka is still in the fight, but her attacks have lost their force. Ooh, hit after hit. The dwarf is on her way to finishing this fight in brutal fashion now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there she goes. She puts the armadillo in a strangling leg lock that... Yep, that seals the match right there. Karaka is down. Now, we're going to start off the timer quick here. Watch this one closely, folks. And there we go. Uh, hurry now, let's get a medic out there as we congratulate the winner of bout six, Toral Nil. 
And wow, now that was a battle, wasn't it? It's a rare few battles that go on for so long before having a decisive strike. But all good things must come to an end, eh? Just a shame poor Toralnil had to lose her feet in the process. Well, as we've said in the past, that's no issue. Our various medics and necromancers will get right on the job, and before next match, she'll be good as new. Good job out there, dwarf. It may not have been the cleanest bout, but you won out in the end, and that's all that matters. Your father would be proud. I can tell you that much. Oh, and yes, your prize. Well, it looks like despite your blood loss, you were able to whisper a request to our favorite Batwoman, and... Hmm, looks like we got a proper dwarven choice here. It looks like Toralnil is going with a steel axe, adorned with some particular engravings of a city from across the dunes. A place known as White Sand, home of Karaka, the armadillo woman. Well, isn't that honorable of you, dwarf? Let's hear it once more for our winner, Toralnil the dwarf. And also for our loser, Karaka. You know, I think this was a much closer battle than we even made it out to be. Karaka was able to chop off both of Toralnil's feet, as well as give her a nasty cut in the belly. I'm actually pretty shocked the dwarf was able to survive the bout. Yes, the armadillo woman put up quite a fight. Well, at least you've completed your quest, in a way. And gentle armadillo woman, we of the arena and those now remembered people of White Sand, thank you from the deepest recesses of our hearts. Rest ye well in the Hall of Legends. My bearded bastards, the end of this bout marks the midpoint of this year's Splatterface, and I imagine you're starting to get a feel for the exciting events to come. In three days' time, we'll have our mid-game celebration, where we'll be introducing our awful, e-exciting new sponsor, peek in on our gladiators to see how they're faring, and we'll also bear witness to a unique battle that, for now, will be kept well, as a bit of a surprise. Look forward to it. But for now, stay excited, stay bearded, and don't go far. Because more Splatterface is soon to come. <laughs>